There's a great new feature in Illustrator, for me anyway, I must admit, it's one that I've been waiting for for ages, and that's a radial feature. Well, there's also, not only that, there's also other options in this repeats feature, and you can see the design here. Just simply, I've got one design, it just it looks like eight there. It's actually just that one shape, and it's been duplicated, called repeats. Now, I'm just gonna remove it so you can just now See it from start. Now it depends obviously how you start the initial design, though of course you can modify this at a later point. But you could obviously different angles will result in the initial design being shown differently. So what you need to do with that design there, go to object and go down to repeat and then radio. You can see there's grid and there's mirror as well. I'm gonna do videos for, and also I'm gonna do also more videos about radio for other things like with type, etc. But I'm just gonna go for the basic sets. So radial there. As soon as you do that, you've got that. Now I'm just going to go selection and you can see there's no tool here. So there's no tool for this. So that's just simple option via that object menu. So with that, I've got here properties panel and that's quite useful as well because you might, instead of using these interactive features, you might prefer just do it by properties. So window and down and you've got properties there. So with that, you can change the number of repeats. So at the moment, I've got eight. This is a this object is a repeat object. So this object is a particular type within Illustrator. So it's a, so you can expand it as well. So if you want to expand it just to create it back to a like normal design, what you need to do is go to object and expand. So that puts it back to normal. But I'm not going to do that because obviously I want to demonstrate some of the features here. Interactively, you can modify this, you can change the instances, so you can make it make like 16, 17, you can just go up and down, and that's just here, this little thing here. Really obvious that it's up and down, just sort of up and down arrows there. But that just increases the number, and you can see all nicely uniform. There's no sort of modification, there's no gaps or any, no dot dash feature. I would love to see that, but however, that make it more complicated. Now, you've also got other options here. You can radius, you can see you can modify that. But you can also do that via here as well. So this little dot here just modifies the radius, so that pushes it out. And also, as you do that, you can rotate it around, which is quite useful as well. So you can create a variety of different, simply by holding that down. Now I'm just gonna reduce number, just gonna have it so many. And again, you can see you can push it inside, and you can make it go out like that. And again, all via this little control here. So you can just create all kinds of different designs. Now, what you can do, also you can modify the actual existing design there. You've got this obviously ellipse. I won't want it ellipse, I want it to be something else. Well, what you can do, you can just double click on it. So just double click on one of the designs. I'm gonna go with this one. And then you see you've got that selected. Now you've still got this design here. Well, what you can do, you can modify this design. Yeah, and as soon as you modify that, you can see it changes all of them because it's still over here, a radial repeat object or a repeat object. Obviously, the, each there's a grid one as well. So, and you can keep modifying this if you want to make it slightly bigger. Now, of course, you can make it like that. Make it, you can make it thin like that. You can also change the color. So maybe you decide, I don't want that color. It's going to go for fill, let's go for green. Now sometimes it's not immediate response. I don't know why, I've clicked it occasionally, I think, oh, it doesn't look like it's changed it, but it does, does change it, it should change it. And also, of course, you can modify it. Stroke. Again, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. There seems to be a slight quirk. I have noticed this when I'm do, using this. Sometimes I change it here and it still keeps it as it was, which is very odd. And also, of course, modify the opacity as well, and so on and so on. You can see the general result of it. Now, within this design, what you can do, you can also add additional designs to it. I'm just, obviously in this case, I'm just gonna show a very simple design, but I can just go here to the ellipse tool again, and I can just add another tool there. Design, maybe not that one, I'm just gonna just move it there. So you can see straight away you can create this design. You can add it there, add it there, add it there, add it there. 
So you can create some very elaborate designs. Of course, you can even create it in the center if you want. And so on and so on. You can do that. And of course, what you can also do, don't have to, it doesn't have to be a circle. You can go over here, rectangle, and maybe add a rectangle. And that will be repeated all the way through. And again, you can change the color. So if you want to, you can create some very elaborate designs. Obviously, this is a very basic design. But simple as that, once you finish, once you think, you know, that's it, I can go back. Click up here to come out. Now you can remove that. I'm just going to remove that because I'm going to go and quickly show another example. So I'm just going to go for, say, this one, pen tool. No, actually, I'm going to go for curve tool. Even better example. So just really create a curve here. Now I'm not going to go with that. So I'm going to change the stroke a bit so it's not so big. Okay. And of course, I can modify this and all those sort of things. Now, what I can do, I can do exactly the same as before. I can go to Object Menu and go down to Repeat and then Radial. And you can see the design there. And again, you can still modify it. As soon as you go over to that point there, you'll notice it changes. So you can still, even though I'm still using the Curvature tool, it doesn't have to go back to Selection. You can just do it for as long as the cursor changes at that point. Now, I haven't tried it with all the tools. Maybe some of the tools don't do that. But certainly, in this case, it does. And you can see you can then go there. Now, what you can do with the Curvature tool still, you've obviously got the Curvature tool there. But you have to, again, now, I don't know if I can double click. I'm, I think that's just not going to work. So I just suggest go to the Selection tool and then double click. And then you're into that design. And you can, of course, modify it there. You can see, again, you can vary that. And again, I go to the curvature tool, and then I can modify the curve. And you can see as you change it, that will change as well. And you can create all kinds of different designs, and they're all using the same, that same center point. Of course, you can always come out of that, and you can add additional points there, and just add some more. And you can see all kinds of lovely radial designs. And again, what you can do, you can always, you've got this design here, you can hold the Alt key down, and or Option key and duplicate. And so you can see, you can create that design there, just move that there. So you've got another shape and you can change the color. So you've got that. Now also I can use type as well, but I'm gonna do that in another video. But there's lots of other parts you can use. Maybe like just the like tools over here. All those sorts of things can be used with this feature. So once you've done that, again, just go up here and back one level. And then you've got your design. And again, what you can do, you can continue to modify this. And if you want, you can also just go over here, number of repeats. And you can create all kinds of unique designs like that. And of course, I can move that over there like that. Maybe reduce it down so it's not like that. Something like that. So that's a basic run through of the radial feature. Of course, there's lots of other ways of using this. I mean, I think it's just a brilliant way of creating some really wonderful, unique designs. And of course, once you've created this design, what you can do, you can, of course, apply effects and you can apply other things. And as I pointed out, right at the start, you can do object and expand. So object and expand, object fill, click OK, and that's it. That's, you've just got it back to a normal design now, which you can then manipulate. You can't use the radial. Now, of course, you can use the radial. You can sort of, if you want, no. you could quickly go to object. And again, you've got repeat. And then you can go for radial again. And then you see you've got radial down there. Now, move that up so you can actually see it. So you can see, it makes a very complex design, but you can literally do all kinds of weird and wonderful designs with this, like that. Just modify a number of instances, it works. Obviously, the more and more objects, you'll probably notice it gets a bit slower, because obviously it has to do a lot more work. If you've got 100 instances of this, it's gonna be slower than just a basic circle. You can see it slightly drags. I know it's not so instantaneous, but what you can still do, of course, you can add numerous other effects to this as well. So if you want to, effects, you can go here. Now I'm probably not going to do extra, but you, that's going to be another tutorial later, I think. So all these other things are also possible as well.
but it's a great new feature, Radial. Like I say, there's also Grid, etc., to use as well. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always have new tutorials about Illustrator, Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, Photoshop, Painter, Rebel, and many others. Also, please add some comments. Always appreciate just what have I done? You know, what should I explain better? I say I am going to do another video or two or three probably on this subject, but it's because uh, I think it's just great new feature. It's something that I've been wanting for a long time in Illustrator. So uh, excellent, excellent addition. Also a dislike or like. Thank you much.